Hello and welcome, I'm Tom from Cog Studio and you're watching CSN. This is the first episode of CSN and if you haven't guessed, this show is Cog Studio News, where we, Cog Studio, bring you guys and girls the latest gaming news every Monday. To start off the news this week, we have the releases for the week starting with Bound for the PS4 out 16th of August. Bound looks to be a totally new type of game where you play a female protagonist who uses dance to travel the gaming world. It's pretty much a ballerina platform that tells a story of the protagonist's childhood memories through dance and imagination. This game looks really interesting and may be the first of a new way games tell stories, so definitely worth keeping an eye on. Second game this week is Grow Up for PC, PS4 and Xbox One, and it's also released on the 16th of August. This game is a sequel to Grown Home, and once again it looks like you are aiming to get back to the moon as your ship, Mum, explodes into pieces and you, Bud, have to search the alien planet you are on to get all the parts and get back home. The next game on the list is Metroid Prime Federation Force, a game for the 3DS that releases August the 19th. In this game you get to suit up in a merc and have to respond to suspicious activity in the Bermuda system. This game looks like a child friendly version of Titanfall, so if you want your kids to enjoy Titanfall without the violence then this may be what you've been looking for. The last game on the list this week is for all you racers out there, as F1 2016 gets dropped on August the 19th. A yearly game, which I'm sure most of you know about, and again, Codemasters look like they have improved the career mode with future features and improvements as you can expect. Moving on from this week's releases, last week also brought us a few big releases with No Man's Sky and Batman. No Man's Sky looks an amazing game where you pretty much get to travel the universe and just explore and survive. Hopefully we can have a few videos of No Man's Sky on this channel, so subscribe and keep updated with Cog Studio to find out more on that. Last week we also saw the much anticipated Batman, a game from the awesome developers at Tatar Games. Instead of zombies and wolves, this time they brave the adventures of Batman, or more precisely, Bruce Wayne. If you want to see how the first episode plays out, then check back here tomorrow where you can see me play the first full episode. So for you Final Fantasy fans out there, we have some good news and some bad news. It looks like you may have to wait until the end of November for Final Fantasy to drop. But good news is, if you need something to tie you over till then, you could always watch that amazing trailer or check out the band Florence and the Machine, who released three new songs, all from Final Fantasy XV. My favourite has got to be the amazing cover of Stand By Me, so if you haven't checked that out, I recommend that you do. And that is it for CSN today, folks, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to mash that like button and subscribe for more content. Also take a look at the links in the description to get connected with all of our social media pages. And on that note, we will see you next week. You've been watching Tom from Cog Studio, and thanks for watching. See you next time, folks.